The industry's come a very long way since I first started in renewables. I think two of the real standout things for me is the size and scale of projects and the, the combined installed capacity that we have here in Scotland and indeed we have throughout the, the UK. That's a major achievement and a major turnaround from when I first started. We really have come such a long way just in the last 10 years. Who would have thought that 40 years ago when we started with Stephen Salter's first designs um, that we'd come this far. It's wonderful to have Flowwave uh, and that facility that Flowwave offers here in Scotland. It's a great opportunity for Scottish industry to refine its expertise and to export that around the world. The fundamentals never change uh, that are driving this industry. We need clean energy for the future. We need markets that will deliver that energy. And Scotland is at the forefront of that and we will keep delivering it. I go to many consultations and I hear people's concerns and doubts, mainly from older generations. Then I go and visit schools and I talk to young people and they really get renewable energy. The idea to teach the next generation what's important as far as environment is concerned is major. I think the efforts that have been made through the Trust and through the Village of Fintry has been substantial. It's affected people in so many ways. It takes a long time to cross the many barriers that are put in front of you, but it is achievable. When we formed, oil was at $30 a barrel, very different from today. There was no awareness of renewables, particularly not in the heating side. So we've really seen a dramatic transformation in the availability and presence of renewables across homes and businesses in Scotland. The challenges for us were moving from a fossil fuel technology to uh, renewable. This technology helps us in terms of stability of our overall production. It feeds our unit when we need it and how we need it. There's two main benefits for us. We're looking at renewables from two points of view. One from the point of view of cost reduction and again from the point of view of income generation. We've also found though that there's quite an emotional attachment to it. Very quickly the staff at the property become enthusiastic about it, want to examine the possibility for more renewables and extending the existing systems. So there's both a financial and an emotional benefit to it. International pressure to reduce CO2 emissions has never been greater. Therefore, it's crucial that we attract talent into the sector to help us achieve growth both now and in the future. When I started, renewables was a thought of as more of a cottage industry and people were very cynical that we would be able to deliver electricity at utility scale. I've been involved in wave tidal offshore wind industries, getting involved in technical, commercial, regulatory issues, interfacing with the public. And certainly I think there's a lot more room and opportunity for new people to come in and make their mark in the industry. What the industry needs is a continual pipeline of talent from apprentices through to management with the ability to adapt and innovate to meet the exciting opportunities that lay ahead. Even today I still get excited about seeing projects being delivered and seeing new wind farms appearing on the horizon. Not only renewable energy but ongoing employment opportunities for future generations. Not just environmental sustainability but commercial sustainability. We had the opportunity to make a lot of friends working with like-minded people. We are really very proud of our ability to attract young talent into the industry. I think we really do need to just keep an eye on it and make sure we really grasp for the benefit of the country, for the benefit for us all for decades to come. People will always need power and that's going to have to come from green energy.